Hey everyone, so today I'll be going through the Photoshop image repair project. So I want to start off by using the selection tool to select one of the parts that we want to remove. And then I'm going to go to fill and make sure that it's under content aware. And that pretty much got that to look how I wanted it right off the bat, so I'm happy with that. I'm then going to use the spot healing brush to go through and remove these two power lines. Then I'm going to select some other assets that I do not want to be visible. And at first for the tr this tree, I used the fill content aware fill tool and it worked well in the sky, but I did not like how it looked um, in front of the other trees. So I'll go back and fix that later. So I'm, now I'm gonna do the same to the other tree. That looks pretty good. So I'm just comparing it to the source photo that has the aspects we want removed circled and I'm also going to save so there are multiple tools you can use to achieve your end result I use a lot of the content aware and spot healing brush in this but I also use the comb stamp tool so just play around you have many tools at your disposal So now I'm going to use the content aware fill tool and I'm going to select what I want it to source from. I do not want it to source from the grass or the barn above. I only want it to source from those panels. And you can see in the preview how it changes as I remove that green source um, indicator. And I didn't like how that was looking so I decided to use the same method to remove the upper part of that pole and that worked out well. Now I'm going back and fixing that spot that I was unhappy with using a combination of various tools. And now I'm using the clone stamp tool to get rid of that one pole that is in front of the boards. And that's looking relatively okay. Um, I didn't want to make this tutorial too long, but you can spend a lot of time tweaking this to get this absolutely perfect. I'm also using the clone stamp tool to get rid of that upper board. And I noticed that there was some repetition, so I sourced another part of the board to break that up. And the only spot that's still bothering me is the spot where the roof meets those boards. Then I'm going around with a spot healing brush and accidentally made it go horizontal across the whole canvas, but went around and deleting that black border, but you can just crop that off as well. So now I'm cloning that part of the roof to extend it out. But I still didn't really like how that was looking, so I left that alone for now. Now I'm still patching up this area because I think it looks too hazy. It's 
So using the spot healing brush, I'm kind of fixing that area. And correcting the grass in the foreground. So using the healing brush, I mostly got that roof looking how I wanted it to. But it's still a little foggy right there, so I'm gonna select the area that I don't like, and then I'm going to sharpen it by using the Content Aware Fill and then selecting only what I want it to source from. So then I'm gonna save my file. I had already saved it, but I going to convert it to a JPEG. So here you can see the before and after shots. You can see what I removed. I'm mostly happy with it. I will say that you can really fiddle around with it to make those things disappear seamlessly, but overall I think this is a good example of how you can use those tools to get rid of distracting elements in a photo. So that's all I have for you today. Remember if you need any help you can come to office hours via Zoom or email me with any questions.